we had to go to the communal toilet, and, which I hated, and the communal shower, which was ghastly. Um, but you just kind of get used to it. If I had to do it as an adult, I don't know what I would have done. It must have been really, really hard for the, like my parents and all the older, you know, the old generation. Yeah. Well, they were back to back, um, and we did have partitions. And as young as I was, I always made certain I went around and way to the corner, so nobody saw me. Showers were awful. Uh, I never took a shower in my life. Mm -hmm. That was the first shower I took. Mm -hmm. And to have to be, I mean, I didn't even want to go the first time. Because therefore, while my mother was bringing home pails of water, you know, from the uh, bathroom, laundry room, wherever, and we used to kind of get sponged at home. But then, you know, gradually, after we got the ghettos built, you know, to wear in and all, we had to go take a shower. And the first time was in that big shower room with everybody else, as little as I was, I mean, I just hated that. It was awful. Because you had to disrobe before you went in, and in the meantime, people are coming to use the toilets, you know, so they're walking past us, right? And I know some of the kids and even the teenagers would just stand and just kind of look at us. I mean, it, it, was, it, was, it was awful. It was terrible. And then to get into that shower room with everybody else all naked and all, I mean, at, before that, you know, I always took a bath. I never took a shower. That was the first time, my first shower. Uh, it was always a bath um, before camp. And so it was completely different.